Now, Hannes, you are um, active at the archives, city archives in Bolzano, and you're an active researcher as well. Can you tell us a little bit about your own interests? What is your sort of primary area of, of uh, scholarly interest? Yeah, of course, um, I'm dealing with my own region mainly, mm -hmm. which is the Alpine region. Uh, it's uh, a borderland, so to mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. uh, between different cultural areas, yeah. merging them, mixing them yeah. uh, in, in, on, on that spot. So mm -hmm. it's, it's very interesting to me to uh, have uh, um, uh, inputs from outside, right. uh, which uh, then influence my, okay. my, my, my own work which is mainly dealing with uh, literacy cultures of okay. the pre-modern era, mm -hmm. uh, mm, pre-industrial documentary systems, right. so to say. Mm -hmm. And because mm, one must know that in, in that special position in the northernmost Italy region uh, near the Austrian border, we do have a lot of, of documents uh, okay. belonging to the... To the and that Maybe includes parish documents, doesn't parish it? Parish documents, of course. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of them are reflecting uh, this, mm -hmm. this, this uh, special mm -hmm. branch of, of, of community okay. developments. And, and uh, this is one of my interests. That's right. Well, we should mention that you've done a fantastic sort of edition of a, of a 15th century rural church warden's account in, in, uh, in Greece, in, 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 in your region. Yes, Hamlet, yeah. How would you sort of characterize briefly the state of parish studies in the area that you're most familiar with, is it, is it an important subject or is it one that needs a little bit of yeah. encouragement? Yeah. It needs, it needs. It is, of course, um, it has been neglected for a long period because in Italy um, the main focus uh, laid uh, always on the bishoprics, mm -hmm. and, 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 mm -hmm. uh, but also in, in, in the Austrian region too. Okay. Um, um, when in, in, in Germany, for example, the, 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 the parish life uh, has produced a, a, a lot of mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. studies. And, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it is um, yeah, a field with a lot of research to, to be done. Okay. So I'm very proud that, that with the Bolzano project, I, I could, uh, in a small way of course but right. contri contribute, contribute to that, to the, to that yeah. now we, we've been doing parish studies here for, for, for quite a while I guess and in England it's been a relatively active field of research do you find that at all you know helpful in in, in your own perhaps you know in, in the Italian framework do you think that the sort of work that's been doing the kind of thing that we've we've done this weekend do you think something like that would be of yeah. interest to people of course, in Italy of course, uh, it was so amazing to me to see uh, that uh, certain similarities, uh, okay. I would say, uh, overtake the, the disparities. Of course, mm -hmm. uh, some, so that there, there is, uh, um, yeah, a similar institutional set: mm -hmm. uh, church okay. wardens, uh, right. a parish community, mm -hmm. the church itself, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, the. Uh, the art history linked okay. to, to the building, yeah, yeah. but also all the, uh, the the big economy mm -hmm. around the church. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, from the two and a half days here mm -hmm. uh, were uh, to me uh, of an extraordinary right. uh, mm -hmm. input. To okay. the, and do you feel that people would, would read English-speaking works on the parish? I mean, do you think that will be there's a chance of, of that being noted in the Italian framework, or would one have to write in Italian, as it were? Hopefully, uh, but I think your research is going globalized right. <laughs> in this uh, sector, so uh, uh, the, the, also these boundaries uh, yeah. are being uh, uh, teared down. Okay, <laughs> good. The linguistic ones, and, and so yeah. Yeah, this is uh, okay. yeah. And I think what we, what we want to encourage is sort of two-way process, isn't it? I think you know, it would be ideal if, if partners can, can sort of mutually help each other. And I thought you, you, you two have a sort of a, a very interesting um, sort of history of contact. So maybe, Joanne, can you tell us a little bit about how you got to um, know Hannes and in, in what context and, and why? It was rather serendipitous, actually. Um, it was at the beginning of my PhD when I decided to focus my researches on the cult of Mary Magdalene in northern Italy. 
and I'd found a very um, strong predominance of um, fresco cycles in the Bolzano area um, and I had been doing my survey work of the first year and decided I would like to go and put paper into the International Medieval Congress at Leeds um, and turned out that the only other paper on Bolzano in that entire conference was being scheduled at exactly the same time as mine so it led me to make be bold and have contact and write to the archive and Hannes very kindly um, sent me um, useful um, recent um, interventions for art history on the, the region and then it was followed up with us meeting in Leeds and myself going out to Italy to Bolzano to do work in the archives okay. and we really have just taken it forward from there. His, his work has been so instrumental to my mm -hmm. own to mm -hmm. understanding mm -hmm. the buildings which within which can contain my fresco cycles to understand their connections to the parish and mm -hmm. to the city of Bolzano that actually it's helping us me try to drive forward a new way of examining Bolzano's art history. Okay. Um, Good now would you say you know this in your workshop that you did you too you had a sort of a lovely combination of, of, of words and 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 um, you know images etc so in which ways do you think we could um, you know, encourage that dialogue further between people who are primarily based in archives, people who do work on um, you know, wall paintings, people who work on church wardens accounts? So um, how can we, I mean, sort of from, from your perspective, how could this be intensified, this sort of mutual, as it were, um, influence and exchange? I would say that you do it already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, I've seen a lot of uh, such um, combinations, so to okay. say, and, 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 and uh, um, uh, works um, done by different, from coming from different points of view in, in okay. this conference. Okay. So that, that there's a, a, a tendency towards mm -hmm. uh, interdisciplinarity. Mm -hmm. um, uh, by a very natural way, so okay. it's, it's nothing displayed. Uh, here we, we go with an interdisciplinary approach. It's it quite is natural it, in it's a way. Natural, it, yeah. It's okay. simply there. Mm -hmm. it's, simply mm -hmm. there. it's also mm -hmm. advertising that we're doing it, which has been mm -hmm. wonderful. Our mm -hmm. collaborations in Botswana, we've actually put on the Komuni website, yeah. showing us in, in the local press. Mm -hmm. So I think actually, and also the publications yeah. that come yeah. out of it yeah. start to give people confidence. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. they go, I can mm -hmm. do that as well. You mm -hmm. know, and mm -hmm. so I think it's actually just like forums like this weekend and showcase what can be done, this is a traditional um, by, um, partnership of text and image but we want to push it different ways within performance, it's something explored within yeah. a workshop with theatre performance yeah. in Bolzano yeah. that yeah. we can take a multi-perspective mm -hmm. viewpoint mm -hmm. to show how actually the art and the documents can mm -hmm. work in very different ways and complementary ways. And yeah. And yeah, it says very naturally, yeah, ways, yeah, yeah, ways. Uh, You don't know how, how much I, I learned from this approach, mm -hmm. which uh, John is bringing forth, because, because mm -hmm. uh, she really uh, brought his documents uh, mm -hmm. to life, mm -hmm. and, and, okay. and uh, this is uh, amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think it's just when we're lacking the documents yeah. um, to help us explain. You've got to go to what's the, what the, the parish actually is. It's buildings and it's mm -hmm. artworks. Mm -hmm. It's the, the community endeavour mm -hmm. to actually mm -hmm. create them. Mm -hmm. They had the money, the time, the thought, the care, bringing in the right artists. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is another source that needs to be privileged and well examined in amongst all the other sources mm -hmm. in order to give us a really great yeah. picture which I think is what the symposium it's really the greater aimed picture, for. Yeah, the, 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 the context, yeah. the, the greater context, mm -hmm. Absolutely. not only the, 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 the document, not only mm -hmm. uh, the image, not only a text, mm -hmm. not only mm -hmm. a, uh, an architecture, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. only another mm -hmm. source, mm -hmm. a psychological one, one, but yeah. it's, it's the combination of them. Right. Yeah, and I think this was lovely to come back to how you opened there, and it's just with the kind of cross-cultural nature of Bolzano. This is a place of transit and trade, yeah. and it reflects here in the symposiums event yeah. itself as a place yeah. for coming in and sharing and believing again with new ideas. Now, were you aware of our website, for instance? You know, yeah. were you aware of that, and what 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 is your sort of assessment? What what sort of uh, is that something that you find useful in your yeah, own your work? Yeah, your website is wonderful. Uh, 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 Said it also publicly at, at, at the conference in, mm -hmm. in, 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 in this West End because right. uh, it's it's uh, uh, one of uh, yeah a network I would say that, w w that really works mm -hmm. that really works because mm -hmm. it, it, it provides so many useful informations mm -hmm. it's not only um, an archive in itself mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, storing um, information books. Uh, um, uh, uh, scheduled uh, uh, conferences and so, but but it's also providing 
um, this uh, bigger image because mm -hmm. you are focusing on, on not only in, on, on the, in the UK but on, on France, on, on okay. Germany, mm -hmm. on, on, on Spain, mm -hmm. on Italy of course. And, right. and uh, so you see that this is a, a, a general, these are our general uh, frameworks mm -hmm. within mm -hmm. human mm -hmm. society mm -hmm. of the, of the mm -hmm. pre-industrial era. Okay. Uh, uh, and uh, you have to apply mm -hmm. uh, this uh, sort of, of, of research technique to okay. uh, to all these areas to, to come out with a with a, a picture with a, a valuable one. Good. Good. And that, you're a very multicultural person. You're aware of many different historiography. I know you know your Italian stuff. You know your German stuff. You know your English stuff. What would you say is the sort of perhaps distinctive feature of English? Parish research. Would you say it can add something that perhaps, from a continental perspective, is is less uh, known, or do you think that they're all pretty much doing the same? Or would you say there are distinctive mm -hmm. characters of these three historiographies? What, what I really love in in, in British uh, research is that there are uh, uh, two um, uh, topics. I would say one is uh, the, the attention for. Uh, material uh, mode mm -hmm. for 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 uh, um, um, seeing uh, um, a parish community, a parish church, also uh, to be an uh, fundamentally a, an, an economic institution. Right. So this is a um, an approach which I. Uh, I really okay. like it because, <laughs> yeah. So some of the quantitative stuff or yeah, some of the... Quantitative stuff, yeah. but also um, it's, it has to do with, with this word we have lost. Mm -hmm. The word we have lost, uh, right. uh, which was uh, a word uh, n not to be uh, uh, romanticized mm -hmm. because yeah. It, it, yeah. it was full of conflicts, full of, yeah. of interest, full of right. uh, uh, insolence, so to yeah. say, full yeah. of... Uh, um, unwritten mm -hmm. class rules, mm -hmm. and, 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 mm -hmm. and even in, in, in all these documents and, 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 and the, the pictures uh, 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 surviving, there, there, there is inside uh, this um, yeah this great divide, I would mm -hmm. say, and, 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 and you come across this great divide only when you are uh, uh, having this uh, yeah this this um, um, this mindset to say yeah of course this is. Uh, uh, yeah, this is the wealthy, the wealthy people uh, who are—it's it's an elite phenomenon. Also, all the remnants yeah. we are dealing yeah. with, yeah. and we have to look also at, 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 at the great silence, mm -hmm. okay. the great silence beyond this. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, something I, uh, I found in, in, in British research. Mm -hmm. Research, and then is another. Uh, there's another thing I, I really liked uh, during this conference to, to notice that there's a great attention here to advertise mm -hmm. the, 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 the local communities, mm -hmm. to open them for people, for, right. the, for the local uh, right. uh, It is a, a, a work done mm -hmm. by local associations. Yeah. And so they can come in a, as it were. Another yeah. thing because yeah. Uh, yeah, they're, okay. they're so engaged with, uh, yeah. with their uh, past. And, and okay. For, for your church one's account, um, the edition in particular, did you consult any any works of, of, of uh, British or English yeah. um, history? Um, uh, 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 I, I did, and uh, one of the most inspiring was uh, the, uh, Robert Palmer's uh, okay. Selling the Church, yeah. because he said the same thing. Uh, uh, you have this pre-Reformation church, which is mainly um, a sort of bank, mm -hmm. a bank of the... Uh, of the rural or mm -hmm. urban mm -hmm. uh, communities mm -hmm. and, and uh, uh, dealing uh, with uh, very material interests and, mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, um, uh, carrying a, a sort of, of pre-modern welfare system and so it's, 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 it's right. a, a lot okay. of, of uh, really useful work done here. Okay, good. So where do we go from here? What um, um, you know? What can we perhaps take from the Italian tradition that you think that the sort of English historians could take on board? Is there, a, um, you know, maybe obviously they are very advanced in, in urban history. I guess they're very advanced in in um, also the sort of cultural history of the Renaissance, etc., etc. Yeah. So would you say we should keep talking in in, in that sense? Of course, because uh, John is doing this. Uh, uh, looking at arts history from an uh, uh, from a 
different points of view, not mm -hmm. only from art history itself, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. also from the social history, mm -hmm. uh, from, from, from urban history. Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. is uh, uh, a field uh, uh, where, uh, uh, so to say, a crossroads. So we'll, Okay. Uh, well, I think it's going to be brought uh, back over definitely yeah. um, the kind of patrimony of the arts is something that we can benefit from from the Italian context to bring mm -hmm. back over here. I think in terms of the study of the English parish church yes. methodologically, mm -hmm. it's a lot to be brought mm -hmm. over to Italy to in, um, investigate the parishes. Right. I think this right. is a emerging where we found out today really in our, one of our sessions on Italian parishes that it's an emerging field and we mm -hmm. need a lot of work to be done there. But we mm -hmm. have great richness and the mm -hmm. cohesiveness of the parish within its environment. A alongside like the mendicant churches and so on so it's just um, something that came up out of our workshop there that was maybe exploring the idea of um, the periphery and it's actually working together potentially mm -hmm. so it's uh, yeah I think there's things to be shared and learned Good. always okay. always it's the best possible Good well we just want to say many thanks for, for coming to the conference and uh, it was lovely to have you. this presence there and I think the delegates noted that I uh, know um, similar work is going on in in the continent and that we can benefit from each other's, as it were, approaches in that sense.